Game resumed. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a wonderful Wednesday evening of esports and StarCraft. Starting down here at the bottom right in our 2v2 matchup for the youth, it is going to be the Blue Protoss player, Who You. Who me? No, it's Who You. His partner, maybe knows Alpha Ferg. Pink Terran player, it is Alpha Cuss. Sus. We're going to have to find out about that one. Their opponents located at the left portion of the map representing the Western Ontario Mustangs. It is going to be the TL Pro South Player Eternity. Hopefully, uh, this game doesn't last for an eternity with his partner at the top left side. It is going to be the Purple Zerg Laughs. With me, of course, is my wonderful fellow, Mr. John, John Paul Williams. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so sorry. Welcome <laughs> in, dude. Welcome in. I feel so bad. No, that's cool. Actually, I'm kind of surprised. We used to see so many Proto um, ter Zerg Terran, and now it's all switched to Protoss Zerg. Well, at least everyone wants the Protoss in their team, it seems to be the case. Protoss for both sides. Yeah, yeah, people love oracles. Well, people love when oracles aren't used against them. They like when they watch other people use oracles against their opponents. <laughs> it's like, ah. But, yeah, oh. I'm kind of surprised. I wonder how it's going to work out, obviously. It's all set up. Guys, if you haven't done already, do make sure to check out Raycore Group 11111. Four ones. Just imagine the Terran 111, but add one more. And yeah. basically, they're having parties in there. Apparently, Tim's trying to meet someone, so do help our staff out like that. He wants to meet someone, maybe have a relationship, get married later on. So, yeah, guys, uh, or, or, see, or see quoted. Yeah, yeah, I mean, he great. basically said, join Red Call, get to the channel with their school, you guys can get a CSL badge, you guys can meet cool people, maybe fall in love and get married, so... Tim, not only the production manager, he is a matchmaker, man. Good stuff. <laughs> I well, hate uh, What? 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 <laughs> what? No, no, I started what? reading the chat, and it's like, I hate mirror matchups, <laughs> but it, it's not. It, I mean, like... Two, two, two CSL game, I hate mirror matchups, man, I hate when I play a two. Play two, two matchups. Oh yeah, that's fine. Alright, well let's talk a little bit about the youth. Um, last qualifier, they got knocked out in the round of 32 by one of the winners, UC Davis, so that's not too bad of a deal. Um, they had, and it's thought the UC Davis they would have had a little bit of an easier route getting there. Um, if you don't know too much about the school, guys, big school, 32K, students, undergrad and postgrad located in Salt Lake City, Utah. A bit of a geography lesson, a big public school, and of course, for sports nerds like myself, they're located um, in the Pac-12 for conferences. Dude, that'd be so cool. I don't know, like, do you guys have like college athletics and like sports con like sports conferences in in Australia uh, and all that? Yeah, but it's it's not. Uh, I wouldn't say it's anywhere near as competitive as you guys have in the space. Like not like D1, D2, mm. D1. Double yeah, no, let's let's just stuff like that. But it's just just not as competitive. <laughs> Ling, mm -hmm. take a look up the ref, like, nah, we'll try the Terran. Which, really, whenever you say, I'll try the Terran, is never a good thing. Those Marines just looking so fearsome with that skin. Not to mention the supply depot is looking even more tanky than usual. Now, now, do you like that? The skins edition? Do you think that's kind of added a fun little variable to StarCraft 2? I think it's nice, but I think some of them are just kind of, uh, like, they're not that impressive for what we've seen added, to be honest. <laughs> Everything should get a skin. <laughs> well, I, I think I mean, it's yeah. limited. This many lings without being able to make it up the ramp is kind of scary, but I guess he's going to rely on those stalkers to try and punch a hole. See how what it can do. He is morphing through that sentry, though. As soon as that sentry comes out, it's pretty much game for these lings. They're not going to be able to make it up the ramp anytime soon. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit tough, but with the Mothership Core, he does have at least some harassment opportunity, and this yep. is nice. He gets a little bit of high ground vision right now at the moment. It's still tough for Western Ontario right now to be able to get on in there and actually do some serious damage. I know they want to focus down the, uh, the supply depot, that way you can get all those feedlings in there, but the chances of that happening are just so little. And But, you know, with getting pretty stock, it, it could happen. He could actually throw even up a time warp if he actually was really careful about it. Surprised he hasn't yet, though. Slow down the Marines significantly. And He's probably going to save it for mass recall in case they get overwhelmed. Yeah, definitely could be part of the meta game. Protoss player, meanwhile, just kind of sitting in peace, lighting additional gates, trying to get the gateway upgrade finished up, and it looks like he just did. So he's going to be able to get his own units out. And I think just both right now, the, both players for the youth are going to sit back. They're going to try to play defensive as possible and see what they can do in that regard. I mean, right now, it's really Western Ontario is in a serious committal to this attack. 
But look at that man, so sneaky puts the widow mine there, so if the links do kind of run on in there, it might be another. Oh, he's trying to juice him. Oh, widow mine does nothing, only catching the first two links. And this is pretty much gonna spawn disaster. The second widow mine goes off, takes out a little bit better. But no, I mean, How did it not get mining. more? I don't know. How did it but as what someone who used to play Zerg and does some pretty much hate scare, and I'm very happy man. That's crazy, man. I don't even know how it didn't get any more uh, links than that, so fortunate right there for uh Oh, Lab. he takes the command set up! Oh my god, do you even lift? Do you ah! lift? You don't lift! Oh my god. I must repair and lift. At the same time, oh I did manage to do a little bit of a rat side. Yeah, I mean, that, that was pretty good. I mean, he kind of, I guess in a sense, he sort of baited those wings out for a little bit longer. Now they're actually going to run over to the other side. Oh my god, no, this is not good. This is not a position you want to be in. You cannot lift him in. Nexus is on this side of the map, so if the wings do get in there, he might be in a little bit more uh, trouble than normal. I'm just trying to, I'm like having like a slightly hard time because like both Protoss players are like teal and blues. I'm, like, yeah, I'm getting confused. I'm like, who, who's units or who's just watching it? I'm like, stop it, guys. I just you know Guardian Shield, does that work on me? Your, uh, your allies it should, I think it should. That I don't see why not. Yeah, oh my god, that's hilarious. But here we go, finally some extra additional links coming on in here. And this is gonna be a lot of trouble. I think right now Utah might be, I don't want to say dead, but you know, the Protoss player who you, uh, is gonna be kind of scratching his head right here. He's like, uh, I have no gaze, I have nothing really in place. And going down for that photon overcharge onto the Nexus, but I don't think it's going to deal with it where as many of these units as he needs it to be able to. Yeah, and I mean, he's just trying to get on out of there, the photon can the Nexus can, and trying to do as much as he can, but it's falling apart. And there we go, the Nexus getting taken down for the Utah Utes, who you is basically dead at this point. The whole game really relies on Alpha Test, and we all know how a 2v1 situation goes most times, nine times. Oh, you can almost say 99 times out of 100. Usually the, two, the 2v1 prevails. On rare occasions, somehow that one player somehow pulls out the win for this team. It's kind of weird. Alright, uh, yeah. Sorry, I just made the mistake of reading something. But that being said, yeah, I mean, realistically speaking, they're kind of just hoping that their opponent went like one base and now has no economy left after this attack. But obviously, as we can see, Zerg currently on two is very comfortable, just continuing. Oh yeah, I mean, right now Zerg's sitting on two base, they're just putting the constant aggression at this point. They know at, at no point can the Terran actually reinforce himself and be able to win this 1v2. And there's the GG coming from the Utah players, and that's going to spell 2 only for Western Ontario. It's all play, I like that man. You still have some aggressive play in 2v2s, I like it. Um, you guys can, of course, join us on Ray Call, group ID 1111, that is 4-1, so be sure to join us in Lounge, we're hanging out there right now, so if you guys got any comments, criticizing, you guys just want to tell us you love us, you want Tim to be your matchmaker for, you know, find yourself that esports love, get on in there, um, and you might even get a CSL badge, but we'll be back with game number four, so don't go anywhere. <laughs>